Oh. Hi. My friend. Who is she? This is awkward. Do you know her? I don't know her. This is so awkward. What are you supposed to do with this person watching us the whole time? Should we just ignore her? Welcome to my channel, I'm Kobana Chimange and this is how I do things. A show where you send me your questions and I let you know how I would do things and I can take it as entertainment or use it as advice, darlings. Use it, don't use it, take it, don't take it at all, listen, do what you will with it. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. It's a Monday. 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 Oh, happy Monday, beautiful people. So today's question comes from a lady on Instagram who's just like, yo, Kapano, how do I know if I'm on the right track? How do I make progress in my life and just be confident that, you know what? Yes, this is it. This is where I'm supposed to be. I'm on the right track. I'm getting somewhere. It's not easy, but I've got five things to say to you that will help you feel like, you know what? I'm in the right track. I am making progress. I am confident in what I am doing and I know that someday and someday soon, this is going to be something amazing. It's a boss moves Monday, honeys. So let's get into it. Number one, believe that you were created for a purpose. Every single person was created for a purpose and with a purpose. You have one as well. You have something that you were supposed to do while you are here on earth. No one was created just to fill up space. God wasn't just like, you know what? I feel like there's too few people here. So let me just add one more person there and another one there. Oh, looks nice and sparse there. Let's add boop, 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 boop. Yeah, five extra people there, let's add another. No, that's not how it works. It's not how it works. Every single person is part of a process, is part of a plan and has a purpose. You too have an amazing plan, an amazing purpose. You just have to kind of like find it. And that's where we get this whole question about, am I on the right path? Can I be confident about what I am doing? Am I where I am supposed to be? The first thing is just that belief within you that Yes, you were created for a purpose. Yes, you were created with a plan. And yes, there is something that you are meant to do that will have an impact in your world or even in a larger part of the world or even in places that you have not even seen or heard of before. Point is, you were created with a purpose. Number two, do your best with what you have. We don't have all the resources. That's one of the things that I struggled with and I continue to struggle with and I think everybody struggles with this one is if only I had this then I would do that if only I had this type of camera then I'd be able to start a YouTube channel if only I had recording equipment then I'd be able to start a podcast if only I had that connection in this industry then I'd be able to get a job if only I had dot 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 if only I had a laptop then I'd be able to you know start my online business honey you literally have every single thing that you're supposed to have in order to do the thing that God wants you to do today. There's absolutely nothing that you are short of. If you think you are short of something, then you need to sit down, pray and ask him, Lord, what am I missing here? What am I missing in the picture? You said that I have everything that I need to have. You've already given me access to everything I need to make the most of the day that I have today. The day that I'm alive in right now. So what am I missing out on here? You have a plan, you have a purpose, there's something that you're supposed to do today, right now. There's something you're supposed to do. And you already have everything that you need to have to do it. You just need to open your eyes to it. We come up with excuses. And this whole thing that I need a microphone, or I need a camera, or I need a connection is an excuse. There's a way around it. There's a way that we can get things done with or without the thing that we think we need. We just have to open our eyes and see it. Number three, get into the habit of asking God first. First thing in the morning, you wake up and you start your shower, you maybe you look on your phone, and then your phone starts giving you inspiration. 
through these Instagram pictures, you just see somebody else saying, oh, I'm building my business. And you're just like, maybe I should be building a business. And somebody else is posting about, you know what, you know, me and Habi are going on a vacation. And you're just like, oh, maybe I'm supposed to go on a vacation. And that is already giving you instructions for the day. And then you, you get ready and then you go onto your emails and then your emails are giving you instructions for the day that I need to respond to this email. I need to do that so that I can respond to the email. I need to go to the office, pick up this document, scan it and then send it. And you're getting your instructions from all these different places because we go to Instagram first, we go to YouTube first, we go to our emails first. And those give us a task and a list of things to do throughout the day. But the first thing that we should do is that we need to get into the habit of asking God first. Asking God, hey Lord, I'm awake. Thank you for breathing life into my lungs. So here's the question, Lord. So what, what do you want me to do today? You know, to guide my steps. And you know, make my path straight, Heavenly Father, please give me some idea of what it is I'm supposed to do. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me as I go throughout the days so that I know whether to walk through this door or not to walk through this door, to turn left or whether to turn right. Heavenly Father, you see things that I do not see, so please guide me. May I feel your hand as it pushes me forward or holds me back. Whatever it is that I'm supposed to do, let me see it. That's what we're supposed to do every single day. I've got into the habit of using her daily success journal, which is a journal that I created over years of realizing that every single time I try to do it myself, every single time I try to come up with my own ideas, every single time I try to give myself my own plans, I fail. I fail dismally and I have to go back to God with my tail in between my toes and say, oh Lord, I messed up again. But every single time I wake up and I ask him first, things make sense. The world makes sense. My path is made straight. He directs my steps. And the first thing that her daily success journal does is it asks you for a Bible verse. I don't give you one, no. That's not how I created this journal. You go into the Bible, find a verse that speaks to you today and write it down so you can meditate in it all day. Pray and ask God, okay, Lord, this is what your word has given me today. What do you want me to do? If you can't hear him, then follow his word that you have written out that you meditate on the whole day. Surrendering the day to God and then going to him first gives you such clarity. It gives you such clarity about where you should be and what you should be doing that it, it turns out to be so easy. That when I follow God's plan, everything always works out. When I follow my plan, it's a disaster. Number four is to do it for God. Don't do it for yourself. Don't do it for humans. Don't do it for your boss, don't do it for your husband, don't do it for your baby, do it for God to glorify his name. Because every single thing that we do gives glory to him. And when we do it in excellence, when we know that I'm here today, okay, I am hella tired this morning, honey, I'm tired, okay? However, I am here. So I'm not going to just allow myself to be here, Mopi, and just be like, hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Kupana Shimangi, me, 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 me. No, no. I am blessed to have electricity, I'm blessed to have a camera, I'm blessed to have a voice and an idea and a mouth to speak the ideas. So I'm not going to be here and do a nonsense job. Whether I hate it, whether I am tired, whatever the emotions may be, your feelings are a choice sometimes. You choose to stay angry or you choose to find joy in the moment, in the blessings that you have wrapped around the situation that you are in. Your perspective is a choice. And when you change your perspective to say that I am here for a reason and I'm going to do my best with the situation I am in, it may not be ideal, but God is using it one way or another. So I'm going to do my very best with it. I'm going to do it for my creator. I'm not doing it for anybody else. I'm not even doing it for myself. Because when I do an excellent job, when I do a good job, I do it for God. And when I always think about it, it's like, whatever my job is right now, whatever thing I am doing right now, I'm doing it for Him. It is my gift to my God. It is my form of worship. Any form of excellence here on earth is anything that I can give to God and say, thank you for the ring light. Thank you for the camera. Thank you for the memory card. Thank you for the mic. Thank you for the screen. Thank you for the clothing. Thank you for the hair that's popping. Thank you for everything. I'm going to do my best with the combination of all these things that you've given me and I'm going to give you the best of what I have right now. And this just leads me to number five. Commit 
to excellence in every single thing that you do. When you say, I'm not doing this for myself, I'm not doing this for my friends, I'm not doing this for my family, I'm doing this for my creator, you realize that I cannot give a mediocre performance with what it is that I'm doing today. I need to give my absolute best. Colossians 3, 23 and 24 says, and whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not for man, knowing that from the Lord, you will receive the reward of an inheritance for you serve the Lord Christ. That is it. When you decide that I'm going to wake up and do my absolute best today, you're doing it for God and not for anybody else. You have to make a commitment that God gave me his best every single day. The sun shines in all of its glory. The birds sing in all of their glory. The grass is the greenest of the green, green, green today. Everything is working in its excellence for God and so should I. He's given us choice. He's given us dominion. He created the animals, the plants, the earth, the water, the sea, the sky. And it's all working the way it is supposed to be working or being obedient to him. And he gave us choice. He gave us the choice to choose him. He gave us the choice to also choose excellence. So in everything that you do, choose excellence because you're doing it for your creator. No matter what it is that you're doing in life, you may not know the path, you may not know where you're going and you not, may not know what purpose you were created for. The point is, as long as you wake up and you decide that whatever I have at my disposal today, I'm going to use it to my absolute best. When you decide that whatever it is that I do today, whatever idea God gives me today, whatever it is, that I'm going to give it to him. I'm going to do it for him and I'm going to give it my absolute best. That's how you know you're on the right path. That's how you find your purpose by first going to him and asking him, asking your creator, the one who knows you, the one who planned everything for you and saying, what is it that I'm supposed to do today? Because he makes your path straight. He will get you to your purpose if you trust him with the day to day to day. As long as you do that every day, honeys, you will become a success in your life. That is it. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed that one and I hope that you're motivated for this Bus Moves Monday. Go out and do your absolute best with the day that you have been given. And I hope that you are motivated and inspired to do it for God. Until later days, beautiful people, thank you so much for joining. Give this video a big thumbs up and please share it with a friend who needs the motivation today. Until next time, I'm Kopana Shmange and this is How I Do Things. Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video and thank you for subscribing to my channel. Please do not leave without giving this video a big thumbs up and comment in the comment section down below. Now if you feel like binge watching, go ahead. Nobody's absolute, nobody, nobody is going to judge you. I'm going to love you for it. Until later. Mwah.